Good morning, sixth graders. For math today, you need uh, this page calculating sales tax, and then you need um, this one. So both calculating sales tax. I'm going to go through this first page with you. Um, we're going to practice, and then you're going to have some practice. You're going to have some practice. All right. So some of this um, you guys already know. So sales tax. Um, it is a tax. Okay, it's right there in the, the title. Sales tax is a tax that is imposed, it's given by state or local governments, all right? It's a tax that's imposed by state or local governments. Um, it is a percentage of cost of goods sold by the seller. All right, we've um, when we've done percents before, a lot of times we've done like 7% of a something, 8% of something, yeah. Um, the taxes are going to vary, it's gonna change by region. All right, so what we have in San Francisco is not gonna be the same thing as um, they're going to be doing in New York. It's different based on the area that you are in, okay? Um, Zane, let's look down here. Zane buys five shirts from the store. The sales tax in his town is 7.4%. Find the sales tax on each item and the total cost paid for all five shirts. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the sales tax. And so what we do is we um, multiply whatever that price was, the cost of something, times the rate. Okay, the rate is 7.4%. Okay, so what we do is we take our tip and we're going to write it in the decimal form. And um, for those of you that are not um, remembering how to do that, first of all, percents... Um, if we have 7.4%, remember percent means per 100. So this is the same thing as saying 7.4 over 100. And if we write 7.4 over 100, that's the same thing as saying that 7 is going to go in the hundredths place. And then we have 4. So that's, these are all the same things. This is the percent version, the fraction version, and the decimal version of the exact same thing. So now that we have our rate as a decimal, we can multiply it times the cost. All right, so um, let's look at some of the, the um, items. So first, Zane bought two shirts, and each of the shirts was $12.38. So if we have a, a $12.38, shirt and there's two of them you can either add it two times or multiply by two doesn't matter 16 7 4 and 2 24 76 so our subtotal before tax is $24 and 76 cents now in order to find that sales tax we got to multiply it times our rate so we have $24 and 76 cents, and we're going to multiply it times our rate. Okay, 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7, 28 plus 2, 30. 4 times 4, 16, plus that 3, 19. 4 times 2, plus that 1. Okay, we're going to try and keep these nice and neat, ordered, okay? Seven times six, 42. Seven times seven, it's 49 plus that four. Seven times four, 24 plus six. Seven times two, 14 plus three. Let's add all this up, that's a zero. We're gonna keep going, four, two, 12, 10, 8, 1. So now that we have calculated that, let's put our decimal in. 
um, how many decimals are represented up above? One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna move our decimal five times. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking at making sure I didn't make a mistake here. Um, 24, 30, 19, 42, 63. Oh, I knew it. 7, 28 plus the 6. Whew, that would have been bad. This is supposed to be a 4. Oh, my goodness. I hope you guys caught that. Um, yeah, okay. Because then, um, this is a 3. I hope you guys caught that. There we go. All right, and so we're gonna round it to the nearest cent. So this is $1.83.224. All right, so $1.83 eight, is our tax. All right, we're gonna do this again, and I'm gonna calculate correctly the first time, okay? Whew. If we had been in class, you guys would have caught that and, and yelled at me right away, I know it. All right, now that I found my sales tax, in order to find the total of that price, I'm going to add my, my price and my tax. All right, so $24.76 plus $1.83. Six and three is nine, seven and eight is 15, one, four and one, and two. All right, so how much did you pay for those two shirts? He paid $26.59. All right, next, let's look at the next shirt. The next shirt is $13.40. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, the same process, except for hopefully I'll calculate the right, right the first time, uh-huh. All right, so $13.40. Well, in my head right now, I know that two shirts, two 13s is 26 and two forties is 80. So I know that two of those shirts is gonna be $26.80. And now I'm going to calculate the sales tax by multiplying $26.80 by my rate. So $26.80, can you guys see that okay? Times my rate. All right, so four times zero is four. Four times eight, four times six plus three, 24 plus three is 27. Four times two is eight plus two is 10. Okay, next, seven times zero, seven times eight, 56. Seven times six, 42 plus five, 47, 7 times 2, 14 plus 4 is 18. Let's add this up. 4, 2, 13, 8, 9, and 1. All right, so how many decimals are represented? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Counting from the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dollars, boom. How much tax did he have to pay? $1.98. And $1.98, so that's two cents less than $2. All right, so two cents less than $2. So if I round that up to $2, $26.80 plus $2 is $28.80. And then if I take those two cents back away, I should have $28.78. You guys get what I just did there? I rounded to two dollars and then took the two cents away. All right, last one and then we're gonna find our grand total. So one shirt at 14.10, our subtotal is 14.10. Let's find our um, sales tax. 
All right. So if we have $14.10, we're going to multiply that by our rate. 7 times 0, sorry, 4 times 0, 4 times 1, 4 times 4, 4 times 1 plus 4. Okay, done with the ten, uh, the ones place. Go into the tens. Seven times zero. Seven times one. Seven times four. Twenty-eight. Carry the two. Seven times one plus two. Add zero. Four. Thirteen. Fourteen. Ten. Okay, how many decimals? One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five, and money. Boom. So our tax is one dollar and four cents. Okay, fourteen dollars and ten cents plus one dollar, fifteen dollars and ten cents plus four cents. Fifteen dollars and fourteen cents. Okay, to sum it all up. We're going to calculate the cost of all the shirts by adding, adding, adding. All right, so let's just add these three numbers up. 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 4, 21. Okay, 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. 2, 4, 6, and 7. So five shirts all together, $70.51 after tax. Okay, flip that over. All right, this, is, this looks like a lot, but it's only three problems, okay? So it says here, um, he purchased his favorite video game at the mall. The sales tax rate was 7.75%. What was the total cost that he paid, including sales tax? All right, so um, for this problem, we have a price and we have a tax, and they wanna know um, which one of these is the um, gonna be the total cost, including sales tax. Um, well, this first problem, we don't even have to calculate. We know um, it cannot be this one because that's the price of the game, and that does not include tax. Okay, it cannot be this one because that's less than the price of the video game. It cannot be this one unless somehow there was $300 worth of tax. So the only logical solution is this one. Okay, it makes tax a little less than $4. Okay, go to the next problem. Eliana got a new puppy for her birthday. She went to the pet store to buy what she needed for the puppy, a food dish for $7.95, a leash for $9.95, a collar for $6.95, a crate for $29.90, a bag of food for $10.98, and a new chew toy for $2.50. What was Eliana's total, including sales tax, if the sales tax rate was $8.25? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add up all of these different items. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different items. That we're gonna add up. Whew, okay, quite a quite a um, a trip here. Seven dollars and ninety-five cents. Nine dollars and ninety-five cents. So I'm going through the list here. Six dollars and ninety-five cents. Twenty-nine dollars and ninety cents. Ten dollars ninety-eight cents. And two dollars and fifty cents. I'm trying my best here to keep my columns nice and lined up. So first, let's add these up. Uh, 5, 10, 15, plus 8, should be 23. Two, okay, well, let's count the nines first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 nines. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 5 is 50, plus that 2, 52. Carry the 5. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 9, 21, plus 6, 27, plus 9, 36, plus 2, 38. 3 plus 2 plus 1, 
So it should be 6823, and then we're going to, ah, uh, don't mark that off. Uh-uh, we have not calculated sales tax. They put that there to catch you. Okay, so now we're going to calculate sales tax. We have $68.23, and we're going to multiply it times our rate. So remember, with our percentage, we make this a decimal. Okay, basically the same thing as dividing by um, 100. Okay, don't get, don't get stuck on that. All right, this is gonna be quite the multiplication problem. All right, five times three is 15. Five times two plus one. Five times eight plus one, 41. Five times six plus four. Done with the ones. Heading to the tens. Two times three, two times four, two times eight. 2 times 6 plus 1, 13. Heading to the hundreds. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 2 is 18. 8 times 8 is 64 plus 1 is 65. 8 times 6 is 40, uh, sorry, 6 times 8 is 48 plus 6 is 54. Add, add, add. Five, seven, nine, eighteen, twelve, six, and five. Now, don't freak out yet. What is, um, how many decimals are there? Six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's our money. Okay, what does the eight make the two do? Eight makes the two go up, so we are going to round this. Our tax is, um, so we have 68.23. We gotta add, add our tax here, 68.23. And we're gonna add our tax, $5.63, round it. Three plus three, two plus six, decimal. 8 plus um, 5 and 6 and 1. So our total price right here, $73.86. All right, one more of this trickier page, okay? One more, and then we'll get you guys practicing a little bit. With the money she received for her birthday, Carla decides to go to the spa. She gets a facial for $45, a manicure for $19.95, a pedicure for $24.99 before she pays the bill. She has a 15% off coupon. Oh my goodness, she's given us quite the task here, isn't she? Um, and the sales tax is $7, or 7.25%, um, okay? So we're gonna find out our total amount applied, all right? So, um, let's first calculate all the prices. So if we have $45, we have $19.95, we have a pedicure $24.99. We're gonna add all this up, first step. Okay, five plus nine, one plus nine plus nine, 18 plus one, 19. Uh, one plus five plus nine plus four, 19. One plus four plus one plus two. So uh, five, six, seven, eight, 89, 97. Whoa, sorry, 89, 94. All right, and we're gonna take the 15% off coupons. So we have to find out how much um, she had off. All right, so first we're gonna multiply it by 15%. This is quite the problem. So we have, um, you know what, I'm gonna do it right here on this paper. You guys see that? 89.94, and we're gonna multiply that by 15%. 15%, again, as a decimal, boom. All right, let's calculate. Five times four is 20. Five times nine, 20, uh, 45 plus two. Five times nine is 45. 
plus 4. And then 5 times 8 is 40, plus that 4. Okay, calculate that. Okay, now our tens. This one's easier. It's times 1. 4, 9, 9, and 8. Adding 0, 11, 19, 14, um, 12 was my 13. Wow, that had me for a second. And then I have four decimals. One, two, three, four. So I'm getting, I'm going to round this to 49, right? So I'm getting $13.49 off my price. So if I had $89.94 and I got 15% off, $13.49, my price is going to be 14 take away 9, 8 take away 4, 9 take away 3, and 8 take away 1. 76.45. And I know this seems like this is quite a bit. It kind of is. But um, let's go ahead now and, and calculate our sales tax. And then this problem is done. So my new price is $76.45 because I got a coupon. Yeah. And I'm going to multiply that by my, um, my tax, 7.25%. So 7.25%, um, 0, 0.725. There we go. 7. Okay. So let's go ahead and calculate this humdinger and then we'll be done. Um, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2, 22. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 2, 32. So 5 uh, times 7, 35 plus 3 is 38. Okay, 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I don't get confused. Hundreds place, 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 3, 31. 7 times 6 is 42 plus the 3 is 45. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 4, 53. Add this up. 5, 2, 11 plus 5 is 16. This is 10 plus 2 is 12. 10, 13, 14, 5, and 5. How many decimals? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Woohoohoo! Sales tax, $5.54. So it's $76.45 plus five fifty four. Nine. Nine. Eleven. Eight. Woo! That was quite the task. All right, so you have finished this. We did this all together. Hopefully you took good notes. I know that took a while, but remember, math class is about an hour, so this is okay. We're still doing okay. So for your practice today, I know this is like, wow, this is a lot. I know. This is easier, okay? So you have some problems here that you're going to work on the sales tax, and then on the back it says next dollar up. And I put this on here so you can start thinking about running, rounding your money. But this was not meant to be tricky, all right? So like here, it says it costs $3.82. You need how much? So if you rounded it up and you had whole dollars, you would need $4. This one, $2.89. If you round it up, you need three whole dollars, okay? So don't overthink this side. You're just rounding to the nearest dollar um, up, okay? Full dollars, all right? So even here, $6.04. Usually you'd round $6.04 to $6, but if I needed those four cents and I only had whole dollar bills, right? So um, you're rounding up to seven, okay? On this side, you're calculating sales tax with a 7% rate. So remember 7% as a decimal, 0.07. Okay, so to find, you're just finding sales tax. You're not finding the total. So you're literally going to multiply the price times the tax. You are not having to find the total on this page. 
All right, so this should not take too long of practice by yourself. Multiply the dollars times the rate and find out how much the sales tax is. Okay, give me a call or text if you get stuck.